Hey everyone, it's Michelle, and I want to share a project with you guys. Um, in the in front of you right here, I have my um, altered box, and I joined Jade's um, altered a secret squirrel cigar box swap for the month of May, and this is from my partner. Um, the criteria for sorry for that pause I was just thinking the like the things that you needed to do was um, the theme was vintage um, vintage 1920s couture fashion and there was a little twist and you had to make your own um, 1920s accessory which be um, like a little purse um, necklaces earrings um, headbands hats whatever so I'm just gonna share with you guys my box here it's Phil filled inside so I'm gonna like move it aside after so I'm gonna talk about the front so the front here let me just adjust my camera sorry guys so the front here um, I'm gonna talk about the outside first so the outside right over here it's a plain wooden box and it measures from um, nine and a half inches nine and a half inches to eleven and a half inches so it's a pretty big box actually um, I couldn't find the smaller ones that everyone's been using so I went with this and so the outside if you can see um, I use some Lindy stamp gang see that little splatter right there that is some Lindy stamp gang and I used the glit spritz on it and what I did with the outside of the box is I used my patterned paper, you know, from um, your sewing patterns, and I mod podged it all around. So, all the way around, and glitz spritz, and this is the bottom. You can see that. So it's a little um, vintage pattern. And the cover of the box, so I'm going to move the bottom of the box, actually. This is the cover. The inside of the box is just painted black. So I used some of this uh, ruffle trim. Oh, and you also had to use um, jewel tones. So the jewel tone that I wanted to go with was um, like a ruby red kind of. Um, I had trouble like trying to find that specific red, so I just went with what I thought would work. Um, so I used this ruffle trim that I love and everybody has. Um, and then I used some of Carla's flat back pearls in black. There's some bling right there. This is one of my handmade flowers, and they're in nylon, and um, some black I Am Roses. I have some I Am Roses skeleton leaves and some of the sprays from Carla's store on her Etsy. And the paper collection I used was the... I'm just going to go grab it right now. Um... The paper collection I used here was the DCWV, and it's called Lady Couture. And so, and it's like specialty papers, and there's 48 sheets. Pretty sure we've all seen them. Whoops. So, those are the papers that I used. And um, <clears throat> I cut out the girls right here, and I put them on some dimension, so it gives them a lift. And I love how, look, look how fashionista they look. And then it says, containing beautiful people. And some more black I'm Roses flowers right there. A little cameo. Um, I've got a feather also in the back here. And this I just fussy cut around the pa paper collection. And then here... I also have some more I Am Roses. I have a little stick pin. And I used some actual uh, measuring tape for, like, you know, sewing, quilting. And I wrapped it around my little spool here. And then I have this plastic, white plastic dress form right here. Some bling and a corner piece up in the corner. So that is my box, basically. This is the lid. I hope you guys like it. It's really cute, I think. I, it turned out a lot better than I thought. I was, like, struggling with this. Um, so, yeah, the inside is nothing special. I just modge podge the inside also with the pattern, the sewing pattern. That's how it looks. And for my accessory piece, I decided, I, I googled, um, you know, 1920s accessories headbands because I wanted to make a headband. And, um, 
So this is what I came up with. Let me just adjust my camera once again. This is what I came up with. There was a lot of flowers and sequences and feathers on the headband. So I have this crocheted headband right here. It looks checkered like. Uh, it's really cute. My daughters wear them now. And I have this um, trim little flower that I cut off from this trim here that is from um, Frog Feathers on Etsy. Beautiful, 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 <laughs> beautiful, beautiful trim. And then I have some red um, feathers. So it looks really cute on. I actually wore it. And, um, or tried it on to make make sure that it doesn't look like, you know, retarded or anything. And then I just used some light foam. I punched it out with my Stampin' Up! Scallop Punch. And I just glued and adhered everything down to that. So that's my accessory piece. And this is my box for um, May. So thanks, Jade, so much. I had so much fun. Um, it was a challenge. I hope my scrappy, squirrely sister <laughs> enjoys it and all the goodies that are filled inside. And thanks to you guys for watching.